Labor Day marks the end of beach season for many tourists, but some non-human tourists will be coming through the Cape Fear when water temperatures cool down. Warm-blooded sharks like great whites through an encounter. That one encounter with a great white is rare. It is not unheard of. Take a look. Don't be afraid of the sharks. They know you're there. Almost all of them are not interested in you at all. They're going to leave you alone. Um, but don't do stupid stuff. As humans, we are visitors to the ocean, but a typical trip to the beach doesn't make us shark bait. Dr. Larry Cahoon is a biology and marine biology professor at UNCW. He says, like humans, sharks can't see very well underwater, but some sharks can hear more than 1,000 yards away. So if there are sharks in the water by the beach, he says most often they know humans are there and don't want to attack them. They want to eat fish or skates and rays or whatever. Um, humans are relatively large. I mean, we're about the same size as your average shark. Uh, they can tell that from the way we move in the water. And they don't want to mess with something that's as big as they are and that is alien to them. Although Jaws is not likely waiting on you when you go for a dip in the ocean, Cahoon says there are dangers to be aware of at the beach. Aside from the likelihood of being hurt or killed in a traffic accident on your way, the big risk at the beach for us is rip currents. All shark encounters may be rare close to shore. But I think when you're around these animals enough, you sort of learn their limits. You sort of learn to keep your pose around them and, and, and you know, and uh, you respect them and, and you know their limits. Divers like Mark Lubachetta run into sharks on a fairly regular basis. We have a great variety of sharks, hammerheads, sandbar sharks. Um, and then earlier this year, I was diving in the Gulf Stream with one of our divers here in town, Austin Gordon. And uh, we had a tiger shark come off the bottom and, you know, just basically come meet us at the surface. But even after decades of experience offshore, Lubachetta's run in with a great white was anything but ordinary. I got in, I knew exactly what that was. I had a pretty close encounter with a great white. <laughs> I've been diving out here since 1997. That's a first. Out of this huge school of amberjack, they just opened up and out came the great white, maybe like 20 feet or so away, just coming up in like a vertical position, sort of going this way. And I realized like this is no sand tiger and that is a, a big animal, you know, and, and that is a white shark. Hey Lydia, get in the boat quickly. Feeling a sense of recklessness after the encounter, Lebajetta takes with him a renewed regard for awareness in the water. When uh, divers come to my shop and ask me, are there sharks out there and I'm spearfishing? Before, I used to say, you don't have to worry so much, you know, in the high traffic boat areas. And that's still the case, but yeah, there, you will see sharks. If you want to dive in North Carolina, there are good chances that you will see and encounter sharks spearfishing. Dr. Hoon says there is not a lot of census data to keep track of the shark populations in connection with changing water temperatures, but says there is speculation that water temperatures have impacted the shark population.